Hi YouTube, hi America, hi world. This is Eric at FlexPVC.com. Okay, so the title of this video is Why is it so hard to find Schedule 20 pipe? The very, 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 very short answer is because it doesn't exist. A lot of people call asking for Schedule 20 pipe. I'm sorry to tell you, it doesn't exist. There is a specification for it in the engineering uh, books, but nobody makes Schedule 20 PVC pipe. Yes, I know, but there's somebody out there telling you you have to have Schedule 20 pipe. What they're doing is they're tricking to you. They're tricking you. They're lying to you. Let me explain. Schedule 40 pipe. Schedule 80 pipe. Schedule 120 pipe. You'll see each of these. You go from thinnest wall to thickest wall. Thin thickest, uh, well, thinnest wall is over here. Schedule 80 is in the middle. Schedule 120. You'll see 120 is much thicker than Schedule 80, which is much thicker than Schedule 40. But you'll notice that they all fit the same. This is the end of a Schedule 40 pipe. You'll notice that the socket size is the same. Goes in. Okay, that's the Schedule 120. Schedule 80 goes in. Here is uh, U-Bend. Schedule 40 U-Bend. Schedule 80 fits it. Schedule 120 fits it. Schedule 40 fits it. Okay. Now, we also have thin wall. Something like this. This is thin wall pipe, but thin wall is just a generic term. This is class uh, 100, I believe. No, this is class 200. You have class 100, class 125, class 160, class 200, class 315. These are all considered thin wall pipes. The only reason they're called thin walls is because they're thinner than this. Schedule 40. Right? They're identified by their SDR number, standard dimension ratio, or their class. The class number signifies the pressure rating. So class 200 is rated to 200 PSI, class 315 is rated to 350 PSI, or 315 PSI, class 100, 100 PSI, and so forth. So the lower the pressure rating, the thinner the wall. But you notice that all of these have the same exact outside diameter. That's because they're all what's called IPS pipe size, iron pipe size. I IPS stands for iron pipe standard. When they try to tell you you need Schedule 20 pipe, they're lying to you. I've gone to those websites. What they're selling you is vacuum pipe. It is not Schedule 40, not Schedule 20, it's none of those things. It's specific to that industry. Vacuum rated pipe. Uh, there are adapters to adapt from that over to Schedule 40. We can help you with that. But anybody that tells you you need Schedule 20 pipe, they're lying to you because it simply doesn't exist. Now, there is Schedule 10, but that's in the metal world. There may be a Schedule 20 in the metal world, but in the PVC uh, plastic, uh, this right here, Schedule 40 ABS. Okay, Same thickness as Schedule 40 PVC. A little hard to see on the camera, but it is. Same outside diameter, exactly the same. Physically, you can do this. You can uh, mix and match ABS and PVC, but you're not supposed to. As long as it's a drainage system only, yeah, you can do that all day long. But you're supposed to use a special glue and, and prime, well, standard primer, a special glue for it. Okay? So, I just wanted to make this video for you, show you that there is no such thing as Schedule 20 pipe. It's just what's called IPS Schedule 40, Schedule 80, Schedule 120. We have just a little bit of Schedule 120, not very much. It's not very called, not called for very often. Okay? Hope you found this uh, video useful. Don't get ripped off. Thanks for watching.